challenges in macular hole surgery and high myopic eyes. In this case shared by Dr. Masood Murgarbani from Tehran, Iran, a 51-year-old man who had previously undergone scleral buckling surgery was indicated for vitrectomy to treat a macular hole. The axial length was about 30 mm with a calculated intraocular lens power of plus 7 diopters. After phacoemulsification, the corneal incision was sutured, and superior trochars were inserted closer to the horizontal axis, at a distance of 5 mm from the limbus to improve access to the posterior pole. Initially, core and peripheral vitrectomy was performed to remove any traction on previous breaks. The vitreous over the previous breaks was completely removed. Triamcinolone was applied to check for PVD and remaining vitreous at the posterior pole. One of the main challenges in macular hole surgery in a highly myopic eye is the poor staining of the ILM. To facilitate staining, the surgeon performed a complete fluid air exchange with drying of the posterior pole to achieve direct contact of concentrated brilliant blue dye with the ILM. The epiretinal membrane was easily detected through negative staining, and the surgeon performs the membrane peeling. After removal, the surgeon used a silicone-dusted soft tip, and upon observing a break in the ILM tissue, he was able to remove the residual epiretinal membrane. The surgeon attempted to elevate the internal limiting membrane through created breaks, but the maneuvers proved ineffective due to the inherent fragility of the ILM in the highly myopic eye. He then restained the ILM to improve the visibility of the layer and again tried to elevate the ILM flaps. As the layer was fragile, the surgeon elevated multiple flaps in different directions, finally creating multiple 360-degree flaps around the hole to cover it. Photocoagulation was performed posterior and anterior to the retina projected by the buckle. And finally, a fluid air exchange was performed, and multiple flaps were directed to cover the hole in one direction. Challenges in macular hole surgery and highly myopic eyes encompass restricted access to the posterior pole, ineffective staining of the internal limiting membrane, the inherent fragility of the ILM, and difficulties in adequately drying the posterior pole.